In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure the Google channel in Shopify. So the prerequisite to doing this is having a Google Merchant account. So when you set up your account, go into your Shopify account and then go into Sales Channels and then Google and YouTube and then click on Connect Your Google Account. So you need to then choose the email address which is connected to your Merchant Center, which is this one. So once that's connected, there's a few things you need to set. Within Shopify, you need a valid payment method. You need an online shop live. You need to add a refund policy in terms of service, and then you need to confirm that there's contact details on your online shop. So let's just confirm that. You need to select one of the merchant centers which is connected to that email address. There's three in this case, so I'm going to select the first one. Connect. A few settings. First one is product sync settings. Automate, automatically sync your products. That's what I've got that set as. The other option is to manually sync them. Generally don't recommend that. Second, you've got target country language. Check that's right. Shipping settings, this is set to, you can either set your shipping settings manually in Merchant Center, or you can get them pulled, pushed over from Shopify into Merchant Center, which is what's being selected here. Check out link, set, link settings, that's include links to checkout and the product page, that's also recommended. Then conversion tracking, you want that set up so you can measure the effectiveness of your advertising. So products are gonna go from Shopify into Merchant Center and then go into Google Ads. And you want to, when you start doing ads, you want to make sure that the conversions are being tracked so, it can, so you can get better metrics. Finally, you need to click on Terms and Conditions. And that's all we said, let's click on Settings. Down here is Product Title Preference. So this is the product title which gets fed, fed into Google Shopping. So that, if we do a search for iPhone, that is this title here. It's the title gets, that gets used on your ad. So you can choose where that comes from. You can use the SEO title um, for your product title and also the SEO product description. So let's look at a product on that product. There's a few things here. So you can choose whether this title here, the, the product title or the SEO title, which is down here under search engine listing. If you click that, you can have a different page title. The page title is what appears on a website. So we look at a product and this product, we've got the title. And then we've, if we look at the code, this, we've got the page title. This is the bit that appears in the tab. And you can see it in the code here under title. Now there's the title there. So you can choose which one of those gets fed over to um, Google Merchant Center. The, the other important things to do are the vendor. That's the brand. That's the, what is in the vendor will get fed over as the brand in Merchant Center. And also the product type. If we fill in the product type here, you want something for product type, which is, is going to be descriptive of the product. So you probably want something in this case, we probably want something like you know, gifts, card, gifts, baby shower, merchant center, something descriptive about the product. Other things which will get pushed over are the barcode or the EAN, it's also referred to the GTIN. It's always gonna push over the price. Images, you want to have a number of good quality, closely cropped images of your product. The main product needs to be the so-called hero image that needs to be on a white background and closely cropped. So you want to have push over a full product description to Google. Again, you can choose whether to use the product description or the search engine description, which is in the meta description there, usually much shorter. Okay, so if we go back to sales channel and we go back to YouTube, if we go here and do manage products, we can see a spreadsheet which gives us the products which are being sent over to Google. Now, the things that we, we're most interested in are the product title. That's the title which is going to get pushed over. That's that's pulled from that field that we, de that we defined in the settings. Then we've got the barcode, the other important fields are the Google product category. Now that is a, Google has a so-called product taxonomy where you, you get to know what the product title is. That's a, like a number. So if we do a search for Google product categories, it'll give us a spreadsheet of the Google product categories. And if you download that list, it'll give you a list of the categories and you choose the number which is assigned to the category and put that in that field. So let's just put, Two, three, four there, but you get that from the spreadsheet. Condition, you want to select the condition, that'll be probably new. And the right hand side here, if you choose the columns, you can choose the columns you want. Now, depending on what your products are, you want to choose different products. If you have a Powell, you'll want to choose the size, but we've got, in this case, we've just got um, fairly standard products. So the things we want to fill in, make sure are filled in, are the description, and that either comes from the product description or the SEO description, depending on what has been selected. The product type, that's the product type field, which is from the product description. 
The vendor, that's what gets pushed over as the brand into Google Merchant Center, the barcode and the condition, and you also want the manufacturer's part number and the Google product category. So once that information has been filled in, it will be pushed over into Merchant Center and then into Google Shopping. 